Hello, in this video I'm hopefully going to show you how to renew your Acme Sharp Let's Encrypt certificate. There isn't proper renewals yet built into Acme Sharp, so you basically have to re or request a new certificate. I've not actually run these commands yet on the new version of Acme Sharp, so we might even hit some problems, but um, let's give it a go. So the first thing we've got is in IIS. my bindings and the HTTPS binding. If I look at the certificate it expires on the 6th of the 6th. Let's make a note of that. And at the moment we are on the 1st of May so I want to renew it with you know at least a month before it expires so let's see whether we can do that. So load up PowerShell. First thing we need to do uh, you make sure you've watched my previous video, which is uh, I think titled March 2016, How to Install Let's Encrypt um, and Acme Sharp or something in there. Um, look at my previous videos or just search for it, you'll probably find it. Um, we need to, because you will have already installed the Acme Sharp modules into the correct folders and everything, so we now need to import them. So import module Acme Sharp, and I also need the me sharp IIS plugin as well because we need to install the certificate into IIS. So the first thing you need to do, which for most people because you probably have very new certificates, is you need to check that your host name is still um, validated or vetted uh, with Let's Encrypt. So I'm not sure how long the validation lasts where, you, where Let's Encrypt do a request back to your website to make sure that you control it. I think it might be a year. Um, so first you need to check update Acme identifier and then your, the identifier of your um, of your hostname or your website. So if you followed my scheme of naming during my last video it'll be for example www. and then your website so my one for example is candycards.co.uk underscore identifier. If you've forgotten it, you can probably find it by looking in C program data Acme Sharp Sysvault and let's just chuck uh, the vault 00 dash vault into notepad and see whether we can find which section it would be in. Okay, so if, if you load up the vault file, scroll all the way down to identifiers, it looks like if you've only got one website, or at least you can look at it from the um, from the DNS name, but the alias section is what you'd call it. But as I say, if you followed my previous video, it should be fairly obvious what the um, what the name is you need to put there. So let's do that. And Let's Encrypt have come back and said the status is valid. If that says invalid or something else, you probably should go back through my first video on the, the initial video on how to set up Acme Sharp from scratch and uh, find the section on uh, completing the validation with Acme Sharp. Um, but for most people at the moment, with your certificates coming up to their three month expiry, it's unlikely that your um, your validation will have expired. In fact, there you go, it says here, uh, yeah, that's a year. So you've got a year of validation where you don't have to revalidate that you own the website. <clears throat> After that, go back through my first video, find the section to do with um, completing the challenges and redo the, the challenge so that you get a valid status and then you'll be able to request another certificate. So let's carry on. Um, because there's no renewals yet built into Acme Sharp, we basically have to request a brand new certificate. So if we go new hyphen Acme certificate, and then the name of the website or the identifier for the website, as we've just discussed, candycards.co.uk underscore identifier. We want to generate, and we need to give the this specific certificate an alias. So in the previous video. I called it www.candycards.co.uk underscore 
certificate because it was the only certificate. If I try and run this command I expect I'll get an error message. Yes, so an item with the name has already been added because we already have our old certificate or our coming up to expiry certificate is called candycards.co.uk underscore certificate. So what I'm going to do with my naming scheme here for the renewals is just put in the year and the month that I'm requesting it. So 2016 and it's May, so 05 and go. So that's requested a certificate from uh, Let's Encrypt. As a, you may remember from the first video, while the issue of serial number, serial number is blank, we can't use that certificate. It basically hasn't been generated um, and so we need to just request an update to see whether it has been generated. So update ACME certificate, the name of the website as we've just discussed, candycards.co.uk underscore identifier. Oh no, sorry, that's wrong because we are updating the certificate. So it's the certificate name. So certificate and then 2016-05 for the one that I've just requested. Ooh, I'm missing a step. So submit at me certificate. Let's try that. Ah, there we go. Right. Well, <laughs> see, I told you I'd not run these commands myself yet, so I hadn't got the order correct. So before we can update the certificate, we need to submit it to uh, Let's Encrypt, and now I can run the update and check that it has an issue a serial number. Yep, so they've issued that certificate, and now I'm ready to go install Acme Certificate to IIS minus certificate www candy cards oops candy cards.co.uk underscore certificate 2016-05 minus replace because I want it to replace the current certificate which is which is there and let's hope this command works taking quite a while though. Okay, right, so let's uh, go into IIS Manager and have a look. Sites, default website, bindings, HTTPS, let's hope. View, yes, perfect. So we have renewed the certificate as of today for another three months or ni another 90 days. So that is, with one mistake in the video where I'd uh, transpose the order of two commands, that is how you renew a certificate currently with the uh, version of Acme Sharp from March 2016. Hope this really helps you.